Hi everyone, this is Teacher Jules once again and today's video we're going to talk about lessons 1.2 to 1.3 which is the patterns and numbers in nature and the world. Now let us try to define first what is pattern. Patterns are regular repeated or recurring forms or design. Patterns in nature are visible regular forms found in the natural world. So example, we have here the snail shell, the honeycomb, and the pine cone. These are examples of patterns in nature. This helps us organize information and make sense of the world around us. If you can still remember the steps to follow to understand math, which is the first, to find a pattern. Second, represent patterns in the form of symbols, notations, shapes, or numbers. And finally, interpret the pattern. Now let us have this example and use the steps to answer the following. Which of the given shapes would complete the pattern? What do you think? It's letter A. The blue lines are progressively getting thicker to the point where the lines would take over the whole square. Now let us have example number two. Find the missing terms in the sequence 8, blank, 16, blank, 24, 28, and 32. The answer is 12 and 20. Very good. Three consecutive numbers 24, 28, and 32 are examined to find the sequence pattern. And these are the rules obtained. You can notice that the corresponding number is obtained by adding 4 to the preceding number. Therefore, the missing terms are 8 plus 4 is 12 and 16 plus 4 is 20. That is why our answer is 12 and 20. Millions of patterns can be found in the environment. These patterns occur in various forms and in different contexts, which can be modeled mathematically. First kind of pattern is the spiral. Spirals are curves which starts from a small point moving farther away as it revolves around it gets bigger and bigger but the pattern is not changing. We have your example the snail shell, the pine cone, and even our galaxy the Milky Way. These are examples of the spirals. Next kind are tessellations. Tessellation is a pattern of shape that fits perfectly together and having no overlaps and gaps. For example, we have here the honeycomb or even the our floor tiles. These are examples of tessellation. Next kind are the spots and stripes. Patterns like stripes and spots are commonly present in different organisms, especially in animals. These spots and stripes are result of a reaction diffusion. So you can see there, the animals have their own spots and stripes. And we have here symmetry. Symmetry comes from a Greek word which means to measure together. Mathematically, it means that one shape becomes exactly like another shape when you move it in some ways. It indicates that you can draw an imaginary line across an object and the resulting part are mirror image of each other. So for example, we have here the leaf, the apple, and the butterfly. This demonstrates symmetry because the left part of it is a mirror image of the right part. And that is the first kind of symmetry which is the reflection or the mirror symmetry. Next is the translation symmetry and the last kind is the radial symmetry. Some people may think that mathematics was made to torture our brains on a nonsense numbers. But what if math is already present in nature and mathematicians are just translating it to us 
using symbols like numbers. Have you ever counted the numbers of petals in a flower? You might think any number is possible, but you might be surprised because nature seems favor a particular set of numbers like 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, and 13. It may seem a coincidence to you, but these sort of numbers form a pattern. In the sequence, the next number is found by adding up the two numbers before it. For example, it begins with 0. Next is 1. To find the third number, we add the last two numbers. 0 plus 1 equals 1. Continuing on, 1 plus 1 equals 2. To get the next number, we will add the previous two again. 1 plus 2 equals 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. 3 plus 5 is 8. We will then get 13, 21, 34, 55, 89, and so on. This pattern is called the Fibonacci sequence. This pattern was popularized in Europe by Leonardo of Pisa, also known as Leonardo Fibonacci. Thus, the name of the pattern originated. He is one of the most influential mathematicians of the Middle Ages because Hindu-Arabic numeral system, which we also we use today, was popularized in the Western world by Leonardo Fibonacci. In his book, The Book of Calculation, Fibonacci posed and solved a problem involving the growth of a population of rabbits based on idealized assumption. The solution for this problem? The Fibonacci sequence. Fibonacci sequence is a wonderful series of numbers that could either start with 0 or 1. Now let us try to determine the next few terms. The first term is the f of 1 or the 1. The second term, the f of 2, is still the same 1. The third term or the f of 3 is 2, f of 4 is 3, f of 5 is 5, f of 6 is 8, f of 7 or the 7 term is 13, and so on. Now, what if we are going to look for the f of n or the nth term in the Fibonacci sequence? We need to add f sub n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2 where f of n minus 1 is the previous term and f of n minus 2 is the previous previous term. Given the series, let us try to find the 9th term of the Fibonacci sequence. In the given, we only have until f of 7 or the 7 terms, so let us try to solve first for the f of 8. We have here add the previous plus the previous previous term, we have 8 plus 13 is 21 and we are now ready to get or to find the ninth term which is 13 plus 21 is equal to 32 so therefore the ninth term of the Fibonacci sequence is 32 now let us have this another example what is f of 3 plus f of 7 minus f of 6 so first, let us try to substitute first the given terms. f of 3 is 2, f of 7 is 13, and f of 6 is 8. So 2 plus 13 minus 8 is 7. Therefore, the answer is 7. Let's visualize these numbers using a square tiles. Let's start with a 1 by 1 square, then another. Together, they form a 1 by 2 rectangle. Above is a 2 by 2 square. Next to it is a 3 by 3 square. Beneath is a 5 by 5 square. And if we continue to do this and connect, opposing diagonals continuously, it will reveal the Fibonacci spiral. And this spiral could be seen a lot in nature, architecture, arts, human body, and beyond. Going back to the rectangle, what if we are going to divide the two dimensions, 8 and 13 in this case? Notice that it is just dividing two consecutive Fibonacci numbers, right? 
Doing this up to the highest possible pair of Fibonacci numbers will give us the golden ratio. The golden ratio is approximately equal to 1.618, represented by the Greek letter phi or phi. In mathematics, the golden ratio is used to describe the relationship of the two figures, where the numbers seem to be in a form of a complementary ratio. If you have a number A and a lower number B, then the two are in the golden ratio if the quotient of these two numbers is somehow near 1.618. Since the discovery of this golden ratio, many known individuals were inspired to incorporate this magnificent number to their great works and creations. Man's marvelous architectures like Parthenon, Taj Mahal, Roman arches, Egyptian pyramids, Eiffel Tower, and many more were also built based on this mathematical pattern. Coincidence or not, this pattern become part of the world we live in. They help us unravel the mystery of nature.